Right, so I'm the other sales guy, so expect a bit more silliness from me as per usual. Right, so I do understand that I'm pretty much the last hurdle before you guys get, you guys get some more booze, so I'll try to get this uh, short, nice and simple, okay? So the presentation here is called the impact of Zabbix commercial services, right? So how we're going to approach it today is I'm going to try and raise and hopefully answer a couple of questions here, right? So first of all, what services does Zabbix actually provide? Simple enough. Second thing, what was the impact on the customers? I hope I'll be able to answer that as well. And lastly, what's the impact on the company? So Zabbix Sia, right? So let's just jump into the services themselves. Let's see what we can start with. So the very basic thing you might start with would be the Zabbix training, right? So there are two courses available, the Certified Specialist, the Certified Professional. What it actually covers is not just the basic installation from start to finish, uh, getting acquainted with the actual concepts of Zabbix, so what a host is, what a template is, how to link stuff, but also it goes far more in depth, so you can also get knowledge on distributed monitoring, setting up high availability, backups, etc., etc. So how you can acquire training, right? You can either attend any public courses. There's a whole bunch of them available, both uh, by, by efforts of Zabbix as a company and, of course, our partners as well, right? And you can also host a training session. Now, what that implies is that uh, you volunteer to provide a training facility for up to, up to 15 participants. In exchange for that, you get two free seats for any one course, or one free seat for each. Simple, right? Right. So the other thing is on-site training. Now this involves that our specialist or our trainer will travel all the way to your premises regardless of your location. So whether that be in the States, uh, South America, South Africa, anywhere in Europe, so basically you name it. But the only requirement here is that we have to get at least five participants from your side, right? In order to consider actually schedule an event in advance and providing you with the training. The key thing here was, uh, let's say with the on-site, right, is that you can have a fully customized training program. So you don't have to stick with, uh, with the usual uh, program you get on our website, so you can customize it whatever way you want. And uh, as for the languages, as Alexei already mentioned in the beginning of today's presentations, right, so those are not just available in English, Russian, and Latvian. With the assistance of our partners, we also cover Portuguese, Japanese, Dutch, Norwegian, French, and we look to, we're looking to expand that as well. All right, so if you're interested in training, what you can do is just visit our website, check out the schedule, sign up. It's all quite simple. So let's say your manager sent you through the training, right? So you attended the full five days and you don't really have a lot of time to install Zabbix now. So you were dedicated to training, but the, your Zabbix project is still underway and you're really lacking time. So what are you gonna do in this case? Well, you can either hire additional resources or you can hire Zabbix with a turnkey solution. What that implies is that provided that you give us either remote access or you're fine with us traveling to your premises, Zabbix specialists will either install Zabbix from scratch for you according to your exact requirements the way you want it or configure and uh, continue, let's say, any migration works that you already started. So let's say if you're uh, trying to migrate from any other monitoring solution up to Zabbix, or you're just rolling out from scratch, done deal, so that's something Zabbix can actually assist you without any problems, right? And the bonuses here with the turnkey solution is that provided you purchase this along with Zabbix technical support, you get a discount. So that's not how bad. So, okay, let's consider this. You have your training, you have Zabbix installed. What happens if something goes, let's say, that's up or something hits the fan. You would need some annual support for this to make sure that nothing goes wrong. Well, that's something we cater to too. So that is not a problem whatsoever. So with Zabbix, you get five basic support levels, all of which are customizable, of course, right? So depending on your needs, those range from bronze, silver, gold, platinum, and enterprise. And I'll go into a bit more details on that just a bit later. So. The key difference here is that, let's say if you're just a small company, you're running a simple Zabbix server, and you just want to monitor, let's say, 100, 200, 300 hosts, you don't really want uh, to commit to uh, uh, a high-value support agreement. Right? So you'll be fine with just going to bronze and silver. You get a limited number of incidents, so eight, uh, four and eight respectively for bronze and silver. And the response time is not exactly 
uh, urgent for us, right? So we still we still aim to get uh, assistance to you as fast as possible, but with these two levels, so basically you're limited up to a single business day. All right. If you're going on a larger scale and you really want to get supported at least Monday to Friday without any limits, you're looking at gold. And if you really want some extra assistance from our site, 24-7 support, performance tuning and whatnot, then you'll be looking at the premium level, so that'll be platinum and enterprise. And the other choice for you is, let's say, if you also need training and on-site consultancy, then the enterprise support will be the way to go. All right, so, okay, you have your enterprise support or any other support. How does communication actually go? So how do you talk to Zapix people in this case? All right, so you can either use Jira, so your support account, and the majority of conversation, of course, go through that because it's a secure, you get a secure account for that, so you don't have to worry about uh, anyone from the box track actually having any access to your, to your account or to your tickets. And there's always email and phone support, right? And just to make sure that uh, we are able to fix any issues as soon as possible, we also always advise to consider remote session sessions uh, via WebEx or TeamViewer or whatever you fancy, right? Okay, so let's consider this situation. You have your training, you have your Zabbix installed, and you have your annual support just to make sure that everything's fine, but you don't really have all the features you need, right? So what do you do in this case? Well, there's always development. So how development works is that you can either contribute or sponsor a certain feature development as a single entity, as a single company, or you can divide the efforts between a group of companies, a group of users, thus making your contribution less, but you still get your say on the actual specs, right? So you get your word in and uh, you do get the chance to discuss with our developers and with our CEO how you want this feature developed and what terms. And of course, you'll be able to test it before it's released and if at all possible, you'll get a patch before you go. Uh, but that really depends on the feature, right? So it's, if it's something really huge and of course no patches will be provided, sorry. Just to give you a couple of examples of how development goes right. So here are just a few of them. Uh, of course, we'll proceed and continue to plugging uh, uh, VM monitor for, for still uh, quite some time because that was a significant development for Zabbix and it was sponsored fully by a single company. And we, of course, appreciate the contribution. Bless you. Right, so in any case, so that's just one example. And of course, the automated group graphs. So this is one of the top voted uh, tickets for a couple of years now, and it's finally included in Zabbix 2.4. And there's also the SNMP get bulk. Right, well, there were some issues with that, but let's just not talk about it right now. So in any case, right, so these are just a few examples of those, right? And there are a lot, a lot more examples of companies uh, at least partly contributing to sponsoring developments and thus allowing Zabbix to improve. So these are the core services, but by no means are these the, basically the entire thing that we can provide. So there's a whole plethora of uh, available services that we can offer. So you had your training, you had the turnkey solution, support development. But if you don't want to get involved with, let's say, a serious commitment to a support agreement or whatnot, there's always basic consultancy, for instance, right? You just want to ask two, three simple questions, get an hour worth of phone consultancy, you're done, right? If you, if you just want to have a couple issues in the result, right, there's also remote troubleshooting, there's the upgrades. So all imaginable services that can be uh, related to Zabbix software, we can provide and cater to that without any issues. So, okay, you got your services, everything seems to be running, or at least, well, you, you, you took a minute to give Zabbix a shot, maybe you checked out the website and you, you checked out what the prices are, what the services are, so what's really the point of that, right? Okay, so of course we can say that everything we do is designed to save your money and your time, because it's, a lot cheaper and safer to hire Zabbix to either, uh, let's say, install or maintain your installation throughout the years than outsource the installation to someone else you don't really trust or hire additional people to do that for you, right? So, and let's say if you're migrating to a from a different solution to Zabbix, using our services will make this whole procedure a lot easier and simpler. And of course, acquiring any of our services may or may not prevent hair loss, but that's a whole different story. Right, so what's the point in all of this? Right, you can check out any competitor, 
You can check out any old software, product developer, whatever, and you'll still see the similar, the similar, let's see, either sales speech or marketing campaign that our product is the best, our services are awesome, you have to use only us. But you kind of heard that before already, right? So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to show you a couple of examples of how our services were useful uh, to our customers uh, all around the world, so Europe, America, you name it, right? So example number one would be just um, some feedback from our training. Now, as I mentioned, there are several ways to attend this, and this particular one was uh, taken after a public training session a couple of years back, just to give you some background on what actually happened, right? So the team that attended this training, um, they've been using Zabbix for almost a year, if I remember correctly, and they thought they actually had everything under control. Right, so even though the team was experienced, they were still able to get quite a lot of useful information from this. And I just, and I don't mean just pro tips, but actually, they got information on the functionality they didn't quite know existed in Zabbix out of the box. Right, so this is something you can consider for yourself, even if you are an experienced Zabbix user. Now, the other thing we can consider here is. Uh, this is a support case that uh, one of our support engineers, Alexei Zagorsky, handled, I believe, in 2012. Just to give you a premise here, this year customer had Platinum support and still has Platinum support. And the main contact for Zabbix at the moment of submitting this ticket was working from home. So what he anticipated first, he would just submit the ticket, come back to work on the next day and have a resolution for that, or at least some sort of answer or follow-up. What happened instead was that Alexei first had a short exchange in Jira with the customer to see whether there's actually anything else bothering, us, so anything else causing the issue once he, once he point, pinpointed uh, the initial cause. So what happens is that they arranged the WebEx session. A couple of hours later, they, just, they uh, agreed upon having a performance tuning session because typically the problem uh, was not just uh, on a single host level, it was affecting pretty much the entire installation, but no one actually bothered to check. So the problem was global. And in this case, what we see is that even with the ticket priority minor, so when the customer didn't really bother that much to get uh, an emergency response in this case, even though he had every, every right to do so, our team was able and insisted on providing the extra effort and adding the extra value to the resolution of this case here. A couple of more examples for you, and I do apologize for spamming you with the wall of text. I do not intend this to be death by PowerPoint. So this is the last one, probably. Another case here, so just to give you an example, right? So here's a ticket priority blocker. Um, now this is from an enterprise level customer. So there was an issue with a proxy we could not figure out uh, from the start, but uh, the customer wanted resolution to be as fast as possible, and well, no one can blame it. So what happened is that they posted a ticket. Within the first five minutes, one of our support engineers, Alexei Postavalov, responded. We were kind of lucky that we kind of knew what to do in this case, so we had an idea how to solve this as soon as possible. So within Less than two hours, the issue was solved entirely, and we received a confirmation from the client that everything is indeed working as should. So, okay, you got your quick resolution, and it's just, let's say, a single proxy, failing to receive configuration, big deal. Okay, viable position. But let's say if that proxy is responsible for monitoring over 8,000 hosts, and you're either in educational services, you're in healthcare, you're in financial institution, or an ISP, you still want to make sure that all those 8,000 hosts, even if those 100 hosts, 10 hosts, you still get all the information on them without any, without any issues, right? And this is just, again, a single example. The other thing with uh, moving up a notch, enterprise support, another example, and this is, again, attributed to Alexei. So, this is a customer from South America. 
how are they special is that at the point of submitting this ticket, so basically an upgrade request, which they get free of charge since they're using enterprise support, um, the ticket priority was major, but the premise here is that at the point of submitting the ticket, they had over 2,000 pro proxies. It was 2,200 2, or somewhere around that, but that's, that, that's not exactly uh, that's, that's strict in this case, right? So what happened is that uh, since we are responsible for providing the services and uh, no one exactly anticipated over 2,000 proxies, we did it anyway. No extra charge. The situation now is that this customer continued to grow. Now they're close to 3,000 proxies. And we happened to release Savix 2.4 yesterday. So Alexei, if I were you, I would not make plans for a couple of two months or something. So those are, again, just a couple of examples, right? I did promise you no more death by PowerPoint. So let's just try and draw a short conclusion, if we may, right? So for the customer, what do you get when you purchase any services, right? So the obvious things, you know that everything is working correctly. And if it doesn't, we'll fix it anyway, right? So you're not losing any data. You're not losing your own time. You're not losing money when you assign a Zabbix person to deal with any issues that you're currently having with your Zabbix installation or you're trying to get it improved, right? So you get assurance and guarantee on that. So what does Zabbix get? What does the company get in this case? So the only way for us to generate any profit is of course by services because the software itself is completely open source. You don't pay money for that. That's good enough. So with every contribution Zabbix gets, be that support, development, consulting, the software itself gets improved, right? So we can, we're, basically this allows us to hire more resources to improve our test labs, to get quality employees at Zabbix, right? And to further improve the product and keep the company at a representable level, right? So there is a chance for Zabbix to actually uh, step in and at least cover some of the market the way it's pretty much meant to now. So this was pretty short, guys, as, as I promised. All right, so just to give you a few examples of our customers, you can see here. So we do range from pretty much all around the world, right? So we cover almost everyone. I guess the only location still not exactly touched by Zabbix that much would be Australia. And that's probably just because of the lack of training so far, but we're looking into resolving that in the near future as well. So by no means do I envision by this short speech to uh, motivate you guys to start uh, paying for our services ASAP, but hopefully this just gives you a better understanding of whether our services are, are actually worth your time or consideration. Thank you very much. Thank you.